Welcome to another video. We've been mooching about, not been filming much, because what we really wanted to film is the cooking. We have got some proper treats, and we found this beautiful area. We've got this gritstone cliff behind us, and then breaks in the canopy, lovely view, so hopefully we'll get some nice stars. We're gonna put a fire in front of us, and this is our backrest, and then just set up a simple tarp, and just chuck our sleeping bags under that. Have a couple of slurps, hang out, cook some fantastic food. Stay tuned. Helinox chair, look how big it is. It comes out and it's on bungee, so it all just sort of clicks in. And then it has this material which goes at the top, and then this fabric stretches between the bottom bits and stops it sinking into the ground. Your individual chair legs going into the ground. It's pretty cool. Camping this time of year, you just, especially if you've spent the day hiking and hanging out as we have, then it's a lot to do before it gets dark. You've got to get your wood together, find your spot where you're camping, sort out your camp, set your, your tarps up, your tents, hammocks, whatever you're sleeping in. There's a lot to do. It's a busy old time, so let's crack on. What we hadn't accounted for is this slope and because there's a load of dead leaf litter on it it's like ice so we're just constantly whoo and there's loads of briars on the floor which are little trip hazards so there's going to be a lot of stacking it on this one. That, that was another 10 foot plus. What? What? Oh, look how far down he goes. How far though? I can't see. Dude, it keeps Look going. It keeps going. Look how deep that goes. I dare you. <laughs> Scurry up here. Scurry back out and that. Uh, it's a bit much, isn't it? Uh, into, well, uh, 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 this should get all worn, wouldn't it? That'll be all gnarled. From all your long toenails. Sliding <laughs> over there. Your long toenails scratching oh, over it. Oh, yeah. Little scratching post. <laughs> Oh, a little gnawing post to keep incisors down. <laughs> ah, beautiful. Bad thing. That's dead, yeah. Dead as discoid. <laughs> Anything that we're taking off trees is dead. So we're just pruning the dead off the trees. We wouldn't take live wood from the trees, you can't even tell that's, that's gone. But that was just a dead limb, not serving the tree any purpose whatsoever, so that'll go in fire. I'm here in the workshop, we're not in the cabin today, and today's video is kindly sponsored by AG1. Now, I've been using this stuff for a while now, and it is, it's a foundational nutrition supplement. You get your little thing in, water, shake it up, you're good to go. It tastes good. And that's what I'll do on the morning before I eat anything. And it just gives me mental clarity. Oh, as a tractor goes by, look, this is a working thing. We're here, we're doing a bit, this is how it's got to be. If I stopped every time there's a tractor going or some tools or some, it is getting pretty loud though, to be fair. I need focus. I need brain power, I need all these cognitive kickstarts because otherwise I'm distracted, like, like that. So it helps me tune in of a morning when I have it, I feel sort of clarity, I feel tuned in. And it has 70 high quality ingredients, support physical and mental health. It's got magnesium and B vitamins that'll support sustained energy throughout the day so you're not going to get that crash like you do off coffee that brings you up and down, this is like a sustained energy. It's good for your immune health, skin, hair and nails. I'll leave all the information downstairs but check out www.drinkage1.com forward slash Haze Outdoors and get started on your order. AG1 is kindly going to give you guys a free one year supply of AG Vitamin D3 plus K2 and five AG1 travel packs with your first purchase. I'll leave all the details below. Go check them out and thanks again to AG1 for sponsoring this week's video. Ah. Ooh, delicious.
Now back to the woods. If you're watching this on the YouTube video and you're wondering why we've got mics, we're doing a podcast for my Patreon only. We're doing some Patreon only content. Slow it down a little bit, be all a bit. So like when you first get to a site, you're like, oh, we've got chop wood, we've got to sort everything out. For some reason, we chose to pitch up on a slope, which is very slippery. Deadly. It's deadly. And that's it. How are you, Joseph Von D? I'm, I'm pretty good, mate. He's pretty good. Yeah, pretty good. Pretty good. Good to be back out before Christmas. Oh, it's always nice to be out, isn't it? But particularly, I do like this time of year, yeah. It's a lovely time of year. It's calm before the storm. That's at true. This time of year. Merry Christmas to everyone. I hope you all have a wonderful oh, Christmas. Merry Christmas. And a happy new year. Cheers, Cheers. buddy. Cheers. Merry Christmas. Cheers to everyone. Merry Christmas, yeah, absent friends. Every now and then, we do get dripped on. <laughs> oh, yeah. By the wall behind us. Yeah, and occasionally it goes down your neck and it's like, oh, are you, bugger? Yeah. So if we were to travel out of space, we'll stick on space for a little bit, I like talking about it. If we were to, we found a way to travel faster than we do now, and yeah. we found somewhere that was s sort of habitable, Yeah. but it needed a first wave of people to go there, Yeah. to sort of, and they were like the front line, basically. They're going to go yeah. there. It's going to be absolute... Well, to some it's extent, it's going to be tough, but also it'll be beautiful. To some extent, we've been there before, haven't we? I mean, that's 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 like colonisation. Yeah, but this is a place this that's is on another. That, level. This is a new place, right? There's forests, there's mountains, yeah. there's animals that we don't know exist. There's things that can get you and all that sort yeah. of stuff. And we've got to go there and have it. So we're taking up a spaceship. I've got two questions. One: Would you be on that spaceship? No. Right. That's for that's that. <laughs> <laughs> what about the curiosity? No. Right. I don't. And then if, two. If I was 18, then that's a different question, I think. I, a, I have a family. It's not like I just go. They can go with you. They can go with me. I mean, it's a, it's a bold Th thing. Then you know that. Imagine to. knowing that you're not going to die on this planet. Is so that are weird? you telling me that I'm not going to die in transit or no, there? No, you're in not going to die. Case, you're going to get there. That's a different question. You're going to get there, but you are. Yeah. On the front, the front, the, literally the frontier. Like, there is no chopping. Like, there's no sort. There's no nothing. Nothing. There's no mills to build your wood. There's no Travis yeah, Perkins get to you, get yeah, your I stuff. Get you. Yeah, I, I would be tempted. You, how would you keep everyone alive? But I don't think I would do it. No. Would are you saying you potentially would? Yeah. What's your second question? Does it add some context to that? Yeah, it does, question? yeah. It's saying this. Instead of you, would you send um, Dean Gaffney? And do you think In my place. Right, no. Instead of, instead of that, right, let's put together the, our first spaceship of people who were going. Eight people that were taken with us. Well, we'll pretend we're going, and then at yeah. last minute we'll just be like, oh, I've just got to answer a phone call, then ship will set off. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck, lad. Oh, I wish I got a sorry. I was you know, running back doing your zip up and that. I'm oh, sorry. Yeah. We're, we're trying yeah. to do this properly. Yeah. So that in a couple of generations time they'll be thriving and we'll be all right. Yeah. So. I get you. I get you. Eight people. You can maybe even not cartoon characters. <laughs> not cartoon characters, no, because they don't exist. How oh, they get not playing? Yeah, not cartoons then. That's the only stipulation. Right. You don't want to send yeah, like you, a, It takes 18 years to get there and you send yeah, a you don't want to send old. like David Attenborough, do you? <laughs> and I think a military based background is essential. Yeah. Would so you, me and you would probably get call up pretty early. I know, but I am at the toilet when you set off, remember, so I can't, I can't quite make it. Yeah. But you've well done for volunteering yourself, that's nice. <laughs> Me, I'm just strapped to undercarriage <coughs> as, it's, as it blasts You're off. just bait for whatever animals are living on there. <laughs> you know when they have a, like a sacrificial bit of metal <laughs> we land. On, on the boat? Yeah, no. We I'm like that. When they, 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 they land the ship and then they, they're like, deploy the cage. And then we just like on a big crane arm, it drops a cage with you naked just in the middle. <laughs> and they just sit at window watching in case there's any mad animals that come and do you. <laughs> <laughs> Little bait ball. So we're just shooting in, they are it off in a rocket and hoping he deals with it, deals with it. <laughs> done. I've seen how he copes with a bag of uh, random ingredients, mate. So exactly. I think he is absolutely. And right. he's like, I don't want to go. I'm like, nah, mate, look, you're the best one we've got because we've done a research and you are the best at dealing with random 
ingredients, ingredients in a, a plastic bag. And there's nothing more random than up there. Now get in that spaceship and ready, steady, F off. <laughs> Stick a load of GoPros to Ainsley, get him in rocket, ready, steady, see you later. As soon as it sets off, just that's it. Just get all get back on with our business. <laughs> is, he, is he going to... I don't even know if he's a planet, if I'm honest. I just did an experiment. <laughs> Elon said oh, he would It's a very it. long shot. <laughs> it's, a lo it's, a, it's a long shot, and if I'm honest, I don't think we'll ever hear from Ainsley again. <laughs> <laughs> he's got no, he's got no comms. But we have given him a plaggy bag with a red pepper on it, so yeah. he's got his power, yeah. his power bag. <laughs> <laughs> He'll be all, right. He'll be all right. There's been a lot more on of this, and if you want to hear the rest of this podcast, you can head over to patreon.com forward slash Hayes Outdoors. We better get fire going. I don't have a fire steel, but. I like to dot lighters about my bag just in case for times like this, so hopefully it shouldn't be too difficult. these from a world food supermarket in Sheffield and they're all taties of varying colours dark purple almost pink and a normal spud colour so we're going to chuck them on the edge of the fire garlic. So we've bought some dried seps and some black trumpet mushrooms. Just rehydrating these in some hot water for about 10-15 minutes. Chunk of bone that we're going to roast near the fire until the marrow starts to seep out. Collect that, use it to cook our steaks in. Onions, garlic, and there's some herbs on there as well. Now in with some white wine. That'll make the base of our sauce. The liquid from our mushrooms is, you can see it there, it's pretty much black. We're gonna hit it with a little bit of that, not too much, it's strong. In with our wild mushrooms. And in there we've got Seps and black trumpets. It's not going to be long, that is it? Now we finish with a nice dash of single cream. So these are our three taties that have just been next to the fire for maybe an hour and a half to two hours. And look at that Barney the dinosaur's testicles. So instead of putting butter on our mashed potato, we've got a trio of different potatoes with bone marrow infused into it. This is a Christmas special though, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it is, yeah. <laughs> and that's what we've got the same effort as someone doing Christmas dinner. Yeah, but we're in on a slippy hill in the dark. <laughs> Freshly foraged English truffles. A liberal 
dusting and fresh truffle. And we don't want to spare the horses. <laughs> Cover it. Somebody's got to eat them. Have a try. Oh my word. <laughs> that sauce is next level. As decadent as it's sold. Mm. Right, we're going to have to turn it off because we need our head torches to want to see what see we're doing. <laughs> I want to see this. It's incredible. Woo! Not a hammer off butt <laughs> while we eat. It's just stunning. That's all that can be said. We can't show you any close-ups or anything, but stunning. When I was young, my daddy said, gotta keep one eye open in your bed. Cause there's a time coming when the devil gonna come for you. So my trigger fingers stay prepared. I've got my weapon and I got my prayers. Cause if you don't run this town, they will walk all over you. So basically we've come we've dropped down to this part and under here we've just got our uh, there's Joe's over there and we've got a tarp up floor <laughs> a DD brown tarp the new DD Pro Pro far so good and then we've just chucked that over because we can't find any this is the only flat spot and there's not really many places to pitch it out so it's not forecast to rain, so we're going to put that over us, and if it rains, overhead, and we'll be reaped. Unless something magical or tragical happens, see you tomorrow. <laughs> Touched on them a little bit yesterday. Managed to acquire some English winter truffles. So that is the fruiting body of the mycelium network. It's hard, it's like bark, but the smell is phenomenal. And then if you see here, that's a cross section of it. Got it looking like a brain. And so what I've done is I wanted to keep these for a week so I could bring them up to see Joe. So I've put them in a airtight container, I've put rice in the bottom and I've put eggs in. So that now these eggs are impregnated with the scent of truffle. So I could just use these eggs alone without any truffle and you would have truffled eggs. But we're gonna, we're gonna go all in. There's no point in leaving anything out here. Down here, Stuart. And as you can see, we've used the best eggs and for my money, that's squirrel eggs. Lovely bit of bread from World Food Store.
and it's a lot of truffle. It's very decadent. But I told you, Lee, if you're watching, I don't know if Lee does watch, but if you are watching, Lee, they are. We don't look about. No. That is the ultimate truffled eggs and grated truffle egg butty. There you go, sir. Top tip as well, these plates, call them plates, little baking trays were just over a pound each. Perfect, absolutely. They're perfect. You've got a little lip on them, and that'll slide down your pack better than a titanium plate. Yeah. But that is tasty. This flattened bit here is where we slept last night. Occasionally got the odd droplet on face waking us up at night. Inside my sleeping bag was dry and I was very warm. Slept really well. If you were going to be doing that on multi-day hikes you wouldn't be able to do it really because you're just dealing with such a wet sleeping bag. We would, if we were staying out multiple nights, we'd raise the tarp up so you've got more airflow. There's our fire gone. Leave no trace as always. New pack. Who dis? Joe's got a new pack, everybody. Look at it. Well, I say a new pack, but... Brand, brand new, mate. Eh? <laughs> Made in England. Just come out. Steel frame. Got buckles on it. What is it, do you reckon it's an old mountaineering one? Something like that, or? Yeah, I think so, yeah. Look at it, it's, it's maiden voyage on this, uh, on this trip. Get odd straps on it. Yeah, but it's got straps below, you can attach stuff to all the bells and whistles you need, really. And um, how much did it cost you, Joe? Cost me nothing. Nothing. And that, why is that? Because I found it in a skip. <laughs> yes, man. Like all of them. Yes, man. Skip rat. Proud of him. Skip rat did it. And perfect. So a bit of dubbing over it. Melted in. She'll look well, won't she? She will. She's already had a bit on, but yeah. She'll just still look, you know. I mean, she looks like she was found in a skip, but... <laughs> all leather and everything, though. All leather and canvas. We'll, we'll have to report back when uh, when Joe's cleaned his bag up and we can have a look at it. Because uh, you can't fault it for free. <laughs> Almost. Almost a classic. <laughs> there he is, look. <laughs> yeah, it'd have been bleak up here. Like I know, bleak law. We had a little look, didn't we? There's the zombie shoot, they just like, <laughs> they just slide down onto us. It's very windy up here, we came up here last night, well up to the tops, and it was far too windy to camp, because the cold air would have just done us. But today it's a different story, it's, it's the wind is just refreshing, the sun's out. I'm just going to hike out of here. No. <laughs> Is it all blown out on there? Right. It doesn't matter anyway. Uh, in there. Have it. It's a bit shadowy and that, and light's not great, but... Thanks for watching, and thanks for watching all you. Thanks for watching all year. Thanks for watching and thanks for watching all year. I hope we hope you have a... Well, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. That's another year in camp. Another year gone. Uh, wiser, older, better looking, better cooks. Yes. Right, take care of yourself. Have a wonderful Christmas. Happy New Year. 
We'll see you on the flip side.